potential serial killing nurse. Put up the picture full mass here. According to the report out of Pennsylvania, a former nursing home nurse named Heather Presdy has already been charged with administering excessive doses of insulin in order to kill patients, 17 of whom did in fact die. In total, she allegedly mistreated 22 patients, some diabetic, others not. With the dangerous doses, she administered at five different care facilities from 2022 this year, according to the Pennsylvania Attorney General's office. I want you to remember those dates, 2020 until 2024. Now, in a new lawsuit, a lawsuit has been filed against one of those facilities, Sunnyview Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. This is in Butler County, Pennsylvania, where Nicholas Symbol died May 1st, 2023. Symbol, 43, was a resident at Sunnyview. He was a what's called brittle diabetic, meaning he often experienced large swings in his blood glucose levels. He had an anoxic brain injury, blindness, um, neuropathy, and thus required around the clock care. That's according to the official complaint. So the nurse who was hired January, 2023, was the manager of that unit where Symbol lived. In that role, she was responsible for providing direct care to the residents, addressing resident care concerns, and conducting internal investigations into staff complaints or abuse. She literally was in charge. The complaint alleges that this nurse routinely insulted, berated, bullied, and abused Mr. Symbol, just as she had done to other residents. Staff allegedly knew she disliked Mr. Symbol, and she routinely called him derogatory terms in reference to his brain injury with an earshot of other Sunnyview staff, the filing said. On multiple occasions, she allegedly prevented other nurses from feeding or giving water to Mr. Symbol and had him eat alone when he was taken to the communal uh, dining room. Presty, the nurse, had already been linked to other suspicious resident deaths. Did you hear me? She was already linked to other deaths, but still working. When she was caring for him, the complaint said, on one occasion, she told other staff members, Mr. Symbol was, quote, going to be the next one to die anyway, end quote. That's what the complaint read. Despite these red flags, the facility chose not to remove Nurse Presdy from his care. April 30th, 2023, Mr. Symbol's nurse record uh, recorded his blood sugar level at 167. That was at 6.30 a.m. 30 minutes later at 7 a.m., Presty documented his blood sugar had allegedly risen to three uh, to 380 from 167. Presty then injected Symbol with 60 units of insulin and his blood sugar plummeted. She then tried to reverse the drop by administering doses of glucagon, the filing said. The suit said she initially refused to call 911, but paramedics were eventually called after she was confronted by her own staff. There's more. Symbol was taken to Butler Memorial Hospital for hypoglycemia, a condition in which one's blood sugar level is lower than the standard range, and was discharged and returned to Sunnyview that same evening. Despite having hospitalized, Sunnyview nursing staff allegedly failed to monitor his blood sugar and condition. Symbol's sister, Melinda Brown, was called and told to come to the facility. This was at 4.30 a.m. She received a call from the nurse saying, Symbol is now dead. His cause of death was initially identified as a myocardial in, in, infraction 
at first, Symbol's family believed he died, in fact, of natural causes. But it wasn't until the investigation by the Pennsylvania Office of the Attorney General that they ultimately learned that the nurse had, in fact, administered the excessive and lethal dose of insulin to their family member, resulting in his death. The day Symbol died, Nurse Presley was terminated by Sunnyview. Why is that? Because they knew that she killed him, okay? So she gets fired immediately because she exhibited abusive behavior toward residents and staff, according to the complaint. After Symbol's death, she sent a sympathy card to the family. This is true serial killer mode, saying, quote, Nick was one of a kind, end quote. The suit said the center failed to even in even hiring Presley, given her checkered career history in which she worked at 10 medical facilities from 2018 to 2022 and was forced to resign or was terminated from each of those jobs due to abusive tendencies and behavior toward residents and staff. Put up a picture again. This is the point I want to get to. Now, remember in the initial report, the attorney general's office says that she has basically been killing people since 2020 up until now, okay? 2020. She's been in the profession since 2018. It is possible that there are some bodies prior to 2020, but the AG's office they are making a case based on 2020 to 2024. Why is it that she was able to continue to move in this system, this industry, with proper and valid investigations being done internally, with her being terminated multiple times because of abusive and negligent behavior that led to the demise of others? Why is it she was able to continue to move on? There are a couple of factors here. Number one, because the industry, the industry of nursing care traditionally does not care or they do not give a damn about the individuals in those facilities, not to the degree that they should. Now, there's some good people in these industries. Of course, there are good people everywhere. But the reality of culture is present in the fact that multiple agencies, same outcome, abusive behavior, she's still getting promotions. She was not simply a worker. She was in charge. She was a manager with potential murders on her record that she had not been criminally charged for, but was terminated because she was the catalyst for them. How does this happen? There's more. Um, so the suit, once again, said the center failed in hiring the nurse given her checkered career history in which she worked at 10 medical facilities 2018 to 2022 and was forced to resign or terminate it from each of those jobs due to abusive tendencies and behavior toward residents and staff. While at Sunnyview, she allegedly exhibited troubling and erratic behavior, but the facility, the management, the industry consistently failed to train staff to recognize and report the abuse or neglect of residents. They saw it. They complained. They did not report it. As a result, her abuse was allowed to pervade throughout the facility, the complaint said. The suit said members of the Sunnyview nursing staff began to notice residents whom Presley had access to, quote, were passing away unexpectedly and or under suspicious circumstances, causing the nursing staff to believe Nurse Presby had involvement in their deaths, end quote. The suit outlined some of those other suspicious resident deaths, but the center completely and repeatedly ignored the concerns of staff and residents pertaining to Presby's treatment of residents. Weeks after Mr. Symbol's death and Presby's termination, the Pennsylvania Department of Health conducted an investigation of the facility. According to the complaint, some of you operating LLC and the center terminated or reprimanded staff who provided information to the department regarding resident deaths or Presty conduct, the complaint says. So they retaliated against the employees who told the truth 
who are actually advocates for those under their care, who are following the doctrine of their profession. They get retaliated against for telling the truth. On May 24th, 2023, an arrest warrant was issued and she was taken to custody in connection with two resident deaths from insulin-induced hyperglycemia at Quality Life Services. The lawsuit said she admitted to injecting those residents with the intention of killing them. And she was charged with two counts of criminal homicide. Counts later upgraded to murder in the first and third degree. Then in November, she was charged with 17 additional counts of attempted homicide, 19 counts of negligent of negligent or neglect of care dependent persons for deaths at facilities in Butler, Allegheny, Westmoreland, Armstrong counties. And as I said, they did not look beyond 2020, even though she started in 2018. So is she a monster? Of course she is. She needs to be in prison forever, period, okay? But you cannot talk about her without talking about the industry that allowed this to happen over multiple facilities and the same outcome at every facility prior. People's family members will be alive today if they would have done the right thing and simply cared about the people who are in those facilities. This is murder. It doesn't matter if you believe they are in the last stages of their life. It should be the most comfortable stages. They've been through a lot, believe me. To have such a disregard for the humanity of people and then to allow someone with such an insane history of mistreating our elders to be given positions of power and authority to be allowed and protected to murder. All of you have blood on your hands. All right. Trey, thoughts here? I mean, just when you thought the uh, hellscape that is the American healthcare system couldn't get any more nightmarish, yeah. you read a story like this. I bet. Wouldn't surprise me if Sunnyview or the corporation that owns Sunnyview tries to like charge the family for all 60 of those insulin doses or something like mm -hmm. that. Like that would be very appropriately American as a follow an addendum to this story. Also, what in the LAPD is going on with the culture there? The whole like them retaliating against people that tried to like do the right thing. It takes it above and beyond just like when you first hear it, you think maybe it's just negligence. People not paying enough attention. It just she slips through the cracks or something like that. But then you hear that she was repeatedly reported. And not only did she not face any repercussions, but the repercussions were pointed towards the people that reported her. Makes it very a lot. I mean, honestly, this story makes my blood boil. It's very uh yeah. it, it hits very close to home for me because I actually and you know, it's already very sad, so I can't bring it down too much further, I guess. But I just lost my uh beloved Mima recently this is a picture of me and her this just happened she unfortunately and it's always a hard decision when someone has to go into a nursing home she got yeah. she developed dementia a little over a year ago and she had to go into a nursing home and um this is exactly the type of thing that you're like well i mean this is beyond what you but you're so terrified about yeah. the prospect of this happening with a love you're so worried about potential mistreatment or anything like that to begin with and i gotta say shout out to the the nursing home in Salina, Tennessee, my hometown, they were lovely. There's the opposite of this. You know, they had a little, a little English bulldog named Minnie Pearl that they walked around and everything made it very, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, it was a, a nice atmosphere there. A lot of them came to the funeral home. So they mm. did. I have no complaints. That's the way it should be. But this scenario is like the worst case scenario and the type of thing that goes through your mind when you have a loved one in one of these facilities and knowing that it can and does happen. It's just, I can't imagine the like pain and anguish and rage that uh, all the families of these victims have to feel because I mean, it's just, it, it's beyond nightmarish. You know, it's a, it's the worst thing you can imagine in this type of scenario. And at least I guess she's, you know, facing justice now, but like you said, I mean, there's a lot of culpability to hand out here with the, the industry and, and the higher ups, the fact that, 
she was able to do this for for this long you know yeah. you like effectively killed 17 people the most vulnerable people like you said people in their most vulnerable state who need care so much and and you do that repeatedly over years and keep your job and get additional jobs and keep doing it is um you know beyond sad and infuriating so at least they got her i guess yeah and uh, to those who um, have family members or maybe you're having to make the difficult decision of placing a family member in a nursing facility like this. If you see something, say something and say it loud. And if your loved one says they are experiencing something adverse, don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss it. Carry it all the way through. All right. 